Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we are in uh, Fermanagh in our regular marina here at Ock Inver and we are taking a look around this Broom 38. This is a 1998 boat fitted with a pair of Yanmar 250 horsepower shaft drive diesel engines, a one owner from New Example with uh, 1250 hours on the clock. Um, this boat was briefly advertised about a month or six weeks ago whenever it was at her home berth in Strangford Lock but, and there was loads of interest in it, but it was proven quite difficult to show the boat because it was on a swing in Marin. It was in a private yacht club and it was also located like three hours away from me. So after a bit of discussion with the owner, what we've uh, agreed with him, what we did was we brought the boat to Loch Aaron. This is where all the inquiries were coming from, Loch Aaron, the, the River Shannon. So it's more than likely that this boat will end up with fresh water. So it's come to the Aaron. We've uh, changed all the anodes to freshwater anodes. We've validated and detailed the boat. We've decluttered it. We've taken all the owner's stuff out of it. We've got a real good deep clean valet, cleaned the bilges and all that sort of stuff and left her sort of ready for sale. So I'm not going to do a full on, a uh, full in-depth video review today because I already did that six weeks ago. So you can check that video out. We'll publish that on the website, on the listing page for this boat. This video is more of an update um, just to show you exactly how the boat's looking today. And this is the 10th of November, uh, 2023. So I just want to walk around the boat, sort of explain what we've done, show you the current condition of it, and hopefully give you a better idea whether this Broom 38 might be the boat for you. So check out this video, and then if you are interested, register on the website. You can watch our full length video tour where I went through everything in a bit more detail. And we'll also try and take it out for a spin on the water today too, if the weather holds. Okay, so starting around the exterior, we really didn't have a huge amount to do to the boat because it was in very nice condition. As you can tell, if you check out that video from I think it was September time, um, but we brought it down here. We did give it a, a mop and a polish just to put a bit of shine back into the gel coat and it came up really well. So the gel coat is in great condition. Rub rail and stuff on the boat's good. Teak on the swim platform's in good condition. You do have a life raft bracket there on the transom. You get those big lights, our big opening windows, deck lights into the aft cabin. We've got a stern ladder that folds down into the water and uh, you can also get up onto the uh, the deck via that ladder. You've got fender baskets back there. Shore power plug-in point. We are, there is a gap there, just in case anybody's wondering, and we were super careful putting it in there. This is, it's been in this berth just for the work to be done, and now it's gonna be moved into the harbor for a more sheltered berth. Um, so we'll, we'll uh, whenever we have it on in the harbor, we'll actually tie it up on the other side, so I'll give you a better look at the other side, but we'll take the opportunity now to have a look in the port side, so. It's a good shape. A couple of minor bruises on the gel coat there, but super minor. I mean, it is a 1998 boat. The window here on this uh, end of the aft cabin on the port side is in good condition. All this, the bow rails all the way around her are, um, are all solid. The stanchions are solid. The boat did have a set of marine legs at the time while it was on the sea, but they're not with it anymore. We've got this little pocket here for engine room vents and a step up for boarding midships. So it's very easy to get on board the boat here. Sliding door, giving you access into the saloon there. Obviously a full walk around side decks with access either side into the cockpit too. We'll take a look at in a second. Up along here, again, hull's in great condition. Rub rail's in good shape as well. A few minor bumps and things here, but nothing, nothing significant. Stainless steel anchor roller, anchor, and the anti foiling paint was in good condition, so we didn't bother redoing that. Again, if you look very hard, you'll see a few wee minor hairline cracks and things here and there, but I mean, it's to be expected on a boat of this age, but it is in very, very good condition. So let's hop up on to the side decks. So starting at the aft end, again, you can see the rails are all nice and solid. Beautiful stainless steel fender baskets back here. There's your access from the swim ladder, the steering ladder. But generally speaking, I would say you'll access the boat via the side decks on either the port or starboard side. Stainless steel handrails around here. Nice Ocean 38 badge in perfect condition. The broom badge on the folding radar arch. We had the radar arch down for transport. It folds beautifully. Everything's working perfectly. Obviously, it allows you to reduce your aircraft if you're going under low bridges and things. We took the name off the back of the boat at the owner's request and we give it a, a mop and polish so to remove any evidence of it. The teak, I think it's in good condition for the year of the boat. Um, there is a, a few spots 
Probably not so much this side. I would say this side has seen less use. So all the caulking looks good on this side of her. Um, a couple of wee spots on the port side where the caulking has been wore away. Um, yeah, I sort of see here this corner. Some of the spots where the caulking has come away. But the actual boards themselves appear to be in good condition. This obviously doesn't last forever. But um, some of this more experience in working with teak would be fit to tell you how much how much life is left in that deck um, but I know a lot of owners nowadays are lifting these and putting down flexi teak but I mean I personally don't think this boat's at that point but um, I, will, I will bow to superior knowledge it's not too bad the boards all seem solid um, a couple of wee bits there and a couple of wee bits here and you will notice that the caulking is sort of sitting higher than the teak. So the teak's obviously maybe wore away a bit and the caulk's sitting slightly higher. But again, you're going to find that on a boat of this age. Fabulous side decks all the way around her. Very easy to move around the boat. We polished all the, the roof line here, the saloon roof line, four cabin roof line. We cleaned all the glass and things. Um, we put everything back up on top of the arch there. See your navigation lights on there at the minute. You've got TV aerial there, GPS antenna, VHF antenna, the horn, big pantograph wipers. The handrails on the cabin roof, saloon roof are in good condition. Nice and solid. There's great handrails all the way around the boat as well. Brim badge, Ocean 38 on this side. Chunky cleats, all in nice condition throughout. Um, Windows are in good condition as well. Window seals are in great shape. Sliding window here and obviously the sliding door on the other side and you can board the boat on this side as well. So you've got that opening in the rail so you can hop on and off the starboard side as well as the port side. Deck ventilators, deck hatches, windscreen. There's no leaks around any of these windows. Everything looks really good. You've got your windows into your forward cabin and forward heads compartment there as well okay so that's the exterior of the boat oh we've got our anchor windlass as well it's working off the foot switches up and down and off the deck switches everything on the boat actually works bar one instrument on the dash so and possibly one light bulb but other than that to my knowledge everything else on the boat is working which is a credit to her owner and uh, those, there's the window on the port side okay so that's how she looks around the exterior the door is sliding nicely as well we're going to go in through the, the cockpit okay so we have these locking doors on the port and starboard side to give you access into the cockpit all the mechanisms are working perfectly so you can lock those closed you can roll down these covers and totally enclose that whole area and you can see how dry the floor is in here in spite of the pretty horrendous weather we've been having lately including about an hour ago it was absolutely bucking down you can see where the bit that was the bit of the floor that was outside the door is drenched and this bit inside is nice and dry so covers are doing a good job there's no drips or anything in here we did give the covers a bit of a valid as well clean them up uh they could do with a bit of waterproofing i don't think we got a chance to do that because it wasn't dry enough to do it but um the covers are in good condition the, the the clear panels could do with a polish as well but they're not bad the covers were done about four or five years ago we think so doors clips and catches are all working well we've got this nice uh three leaf table so two table legs you can fold this up to give you a bit of better access into the the seats and the cushions and things storage boxes there so we've got an it's a nice u-shaped lounger anyway that'll accommodate probably four or five people around the table you've then got these pedestal style seats for the helmsman and the navigator here navigator seats slightly elevated with a footrest there as well and they do rotate around so they're locked there at the minute but you can spin those around if everybody's sitting having drinks or a meal around the table obviously the doors close out of the way as well um all the upholstery in this boat throughout is completely original so it is showing its age in spots but like general appearance at first glance it looks nice and smart nice and clean and tidy um but there are a few wee spots here and there particularly the helm seat a little bit of a tear there a bit of stitching coming apart here 
wee bit of a tear there. Um, navigator seat's not so bad. It's better actually. And then on this side as well, it's not too bad. Backrest looks okay as well. The idea with these videos is just to try and give you as good a look, as close a look at the boat as possible, you know, without coming to see it in person so that you know what you're coming to. So you're not wasting your time to, to travel and see the boat. Um, I, the idea is I don't want there to be any surprises. Um, so these seats are in pretty good shape. Now the owner, I should say, keeps these always in the cabin um, whenever not in use. So that has obviously helped preserve them. There's storage underneath here. Nice big storage locker, all cleaned out and clean and tidy. There is, uh, and the backrests are removable also. A couple of wee minor wee bits here and there on the backrests. A couple of wee bits in the thing. But I mean, it, it just depends. The, it's usable as is, or it wouldn't take very much to reupholster it here anyway. There's a lined storage locker in there. All the cups and caches all working well. Shore power leads coiled up here because we'll be plugging it back into shore power whenever we get it into her winter berth. And we pop this cushion here. All the wee clips and catches and stuff are all working. Just trying to pop this off. Some of them are a wee bit reluctant to let go. And then gas locker in here. Two gas bottles and room for a third. All properly labelled. And then storage in there. Cleaning products and bits and pieces. That looks like maybe a screen washer bottle, possibly. So there we go. All good. Plenty of room to move around. All teak uh, decking in here as well. Obviously, because it's been protected by the covers its entire life, the teak in here is pretty much perfect. You can see there where it was maybe oiled in the past. And it's that corner that hasn't seen anywhere. Slightly darker colour, but you could easily sand it back and bring it all up to a uniform colour again. Table is removable also. As I said, the radar arch folds, and it's really simple to do. We had a, it was actually, the, I think it was the first time the owner had ever seen it done because the boat was always wintered ashore in a big shed, purpose built for the boat, and he didn't have to drop the, the arch. But you just basically pull the screw out, the whole thing slides back, the covers fold up nice and neat as well. And uh, yeah, it was it folded down for transport, not a problem. There's no leaks or anything in through the arch, which is good. Got that little light there. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's been absolutely bucketing down this morning, torrential rain and all the seats are dry, the floors dry, you know, so the covers are doing a good job of keeping the boat dry. Clear panels could do with a wee bit of a polish, as I said, for visibility, but the windscreens are in great condition. If I sit here, the navigator seat, you're looking straight through the screen and then the helm seat, you've got great visibility as well. We are going to take it out a spin and I'm going to walk you through so you can see the instruments. I'm going to turn on all the electronics so you can see exactly what we have. But things like autopilot, chart plotters, VHF radio, bow thruster, everything you could need. So we'll walk through that on the sea trail. Uh, it'll probably be a separate video. As so well. if you're interested in that sea trail video, just check out the Broom 38, Ocean 38 page on our website and I'll have all the videos on there as well. But yeah, nice helm position, very comfortable. Plenty of room for odds and ends down in the, the gunnels. There's a 12 volt power socket down here. There's your builder's plate. CJ Broom and Sons, build number 38. Or sorry, 22. So model 30, 38 model, hull number 22, built in 1988. Category B standards as well. The boat has been used on the sea, as I said, in, in uh, Strangford Lock. It's been wintered ashore every win you know, for at least six or eight months of the year, every year. And it's now down in block iron here in fresh water. Life uh, ring there, dedicated storage for a, a boat hook, and then sliding door giving us access. It's sliding nicely on the runners as well. Perspex door in good condition, and that gives you access down into the saloon. You've got four steps down here. So let's go and take a look around the interior now. So the interior is where my team spent most of their time. Uh, last week actually they spent a couple of days in here just giving it a real good deep clean we took the carpets out they were what they were washed and put back in again these are all carpets that were in you the last in the last couple of years we've wet and dry vacked all the upholstery in here wiped down the headliners cleaned the bilges took everything out and just done a real good job on it so 
it's uh, very it's nice and fresh down here now and it's it's looking the part i think so if you're looking at a broom 38 i'm sure you're familiar with the model they have a huge following big fan base for them uh, because they're so spacious you get this huge full beam saloon up here lovely u-shaped uh, sofa on the starboard side we've got nice little sideboard space for a tv to go in here on the port side this one has the side entry door so you can get in and out very easily to the uh the side decks and i don't know to the boat off off uh the jetty then it's got the forward uh saloon the dinette sorry lower dinette that converts into double berth galley opposite forward heads compartment four cabin twin cabin up forward and then owner's master cabin at the aft end with ensuite toilet and shower room as well. So very nice condition in here. Um, so the sofa's in good shape. You've got this little table here. You get access in the engine room. I looked in the engine bay and things on the first video and it still looks the same. Um, I don't think there's anything really to point out condition wise in here. Um, we've had the curtains off and we've given them a wash. So they're in nice shape. Um, you've got your heater controller there. There is a wee bit of uh, sun fading on the interior joinery, which is again to be expected. There are screen wraps for it as well, which we have we've taken off and washed them, so they'll be putting back put back on in the next few days. But there is a wee bit of sun fading on the uh, the joinery here and there, which again on a boat that's 1998, it's kind of to be expected. Um, this is a spot for the TV. The TV's out of it. But it's all wired. There's a plug there for putting TV, plugging the TV in. And there's also, I don't know what that is, CD player or something. There's the, there's your CD player there, stereo. Um, so you would have to get a TV. That's not with the boat, but storage in there. Storage. Drinks cabinet. And the steps up to the cockpit. You've got your little barometer and clocks here as well. Brass fittings and everything, brass uh, sockets, light fittings. I think there's a bulb out in that light, but otherwise everything's working. You've got your sliding side window there and everything's in nice, nice condition in here. So having a look at the aft cabin, you go down these couple of steps into the aft companionway with the shower room in there, coat hooks behind the door, and then full beam aft owner's cabin. Beautiful condition, huge big double bed with Access on both sides, dressing table area over here, the joinery is in a lot better shape back here. Um, you've got your blackout blinds and everything on the windows, mosquito screens, everything's working. Again, I think I talked in detail through this room on the first video. Yeah, we, we have very little to do in here, this, this back bedroom. I think the owner had started prepping it for sale himself and they sort of had done the back end and, and then ran out of time to get the rest of it done. But yeah, this is all in nice condition. This is your shower room. Looks like a, I don't know if the shower's ever been replaced. Let's have a look at it. Let's see if we can get a better look at it here. So beautiful condition, lined and drained. Open a light a window in there, overhead light. All the door clips and catches are all working perfectly. Loads of wardrobe space and storage space. Vanity mirror here, all in really nice condition and then you've got your ensuite heads compartment over on the port side pump out jabs go toilet there is a holding tank on the boat i will show you that because of, uh, that is something that people have been asking me um, again nice sink and vanity unit storage all the way around razor point opening window no leaks or anything from any of these windows carpets in good shape there as well Another hanging locker wardrobe. Heater outlet down here. More storage, windows in good condition, no leaks. Timbers all in perfect shape. So there you go, that is the aft cabin area. And it is in very nice condition. This is your switch panel for your DC power and 240 volt power. Don't know if I looked through this on the first video. So you can monitor the voltage on each of the batteries by flicking it around port starboard domestic shows you the volts in each battery you've got all your switch gear for all your individual equipment here so you turn it on here with like electronics then you can go upstairs and put the the chart plotter and thing on wipers turn on the power here you can operate them from the switches at the helm this shows your current load 
if we're plugged into shore, shore power, this will come up and the battery charger's working and everything. So um, we have obviously been using the battery charger and using sockets where the boat's been cleaned. More storage in there. Access into the engine room, which we looked at previously. So we don't need to look at that again. It's on the previous video. Just checking out the engine room lights turned off. Yeah, the engine room lights are off. And then we've got storage underneath these cushions. Bits and pieces belonging to the boat. Any spares that the owner had for it, he's left on board. The owner's retiring from boating, so anything he had belonging to it, he is sending with the boat. Some life raft, a uh, life jacket, canisters and things like that. So all that, we're leaving all that on board. So that sofa is in lovely condition. It's all the original upholstery again. And then coming forward down to the lower dinette here. Again, huge big dinette. You'll sit five or six people around that nice big table. It drops down and there's an infill. So you can make that up into a double bed. And you've got your owner's handbooks and stuff in there, broom owner's manuals. And then we've got the galley on the starboard side. So a nice wraparound galley, gas hob, three ring hob and cooker. Oven all in nice condition. Big fridge, that's been cleaned up as well. And sink and a half removable bin storage up here. I think I did look through all this stuff as well on the other video. You've got a water tank monitor, which is working. You've got a uh, light switch there, controller for the generator and the immersion heater. This is a, like a historical leak. So there's a couple of places around this boat. I'll just show you them now, actually. This is finished looking. So we've got leaving all the broom crockery and things on board as well. Bit more storage in there. So a few areas like this where there has been a previous leak and it appears to be dry now. But there obviously has been a leak at some point in the past. So there's evidence of one there. Again, this is just so you know what you're coming to. Evidence of one here, which again appears dry. And it has obviously done a wee bit of discoloration down around there. But that appears to be the height of it, whether it's coming in through the door or whatever, we're not too sure. And um, there's one wee leak in the forward cabin as well. I just need to show you two. I've just spied this wee leak as well. See there. Now that could well be from power washing the windows because we did power wash the windows in the deck because that wasn't on it before. But I'm just noticing it now. So we'll clean that up. And we splash there. And they're just pulled there. So we're going to get that cleaned up. But you can see there's no, there is no uh, historical stain in there. So that's probably just from washing. So I'm going to get that cleaned up now actually. I'll get one of the guys to clean it. And then it can be checked in a few days. Make sure there's nothing coming in there. Windows are all good there. All this joinery is all in perfect condition. And we have our forward heads compartment in here. So another pump out Jabsco uh, manual pump toilet pumps into a holding tank. This is a shower compartment as well. Hot and cold running water, razor point, vanity mirror, open a window, all in nice condition. There's a tank level monitor too, so that tells you the, the, the level that the holding tank is holding. Okay, so there you go, nice way forward. That'll be your day heads as well. So you probably keep the, the aft heads compartment for owner's use, and then there's your day heads. All the wee clips and catches again working perfectly. And then access into the forward cabin here as well. The traditional sort of V-berth arrangement. Pull out drawers, a heater outlet there, hang a locker in here. And there is, one little leak from this window here which does need attention so you can see it just mark the stain that backrest a wee bit um as well but yeah that is uh, a wee problem that window there but i presume that should be fairly straightforward to sort out this is the kind of issues you do get as these boats age and i would say if the owner had been in full health in recent years, he would probably keep up, up to date with all this stuff. But um, yeah, he's just, that's the reason for, for sale is that the owner hasn't been able to get on board as much as he used to. All the wee reading lights are working. 
overhead lights all working and uh yeah there's no mold or anything in here it is in decent condition just that one wee area there it needs attention but other than that all looks good so we now have we're back in from the sea trial which went very well actually the boat runs great on the water and just want to take you the take the opportunity while we're here to show you the starboard side because we're tied up now on the other side so it has also been mopped and polished and it's in great condition too rub rail's good there up here is in good condition these windows are perfect gel coat all looks good along this side that's your engine room vent again with the integrated step and the opening rails here so you can access the the starboard side as well heater outlet is here and we sort of mark there but it's not actually through the gel so that will that will polish out i think the guys had a harder time reaching this side of the hull for doing the mopping but it's in good condition yeah you can see they probably only reached up about as far as here but um won't take much to finish that off but it looks really good rails in good shape the the previous owner always tied up the boat on the the port side so that's sort of seen the most the most wear along the side decks and things but yeah starboard side of the boat also in very good condition so i have now given this a wee wipe but just dried up that that wee bit of uh water cleaned it up there and there so if you are coming to view the boat with you know we'll check i'll keep an eye on that as well and just check is that just literally from a wee bit of water coming in on power washing but you can see there is no water stain in there so i think it is just a, a week recent thing but listen i the reason that i go through all this stuff is to let you know exactly what you're coming because i know it takes time for everybody to come and see these boats and uh time out of your schedule time out of my schedule and i don't want to be wasting anybody's time is the last thing i want to do and i don't want you to be disappointed whenever you come to see the boats in person as well so um the reason to do this is to try and give you as an honest an assessment of the boat as i possibly can and you know exactly what you're coming to so yeah just we'll keep an eye on that wee thing uh, also so i pulled the carpet up forward here to show you the holding tank because this is important if you're planning to use the boat on the shannon or the iron system you need a built-in holding tank this boat has it stainless steel in perfect condition the original broom uh hull number written on it here all labeled for inlets and outlets and the uh, capacities on there as well 127 liters so this is on the original owner's invoice or the original sales invoice i should say so it is a holding tank model there is a mass reader discharge pump there and just want to show you how clean it is like look that tank's immaculate you know, behind the scenes this boat is really nice and clean and tidy so on that point actually about paperwork we do have the original owners or the original sales invoice so there only has been one owner from you the boat was originally sold um by offshore power boats i think it was south coast dealer i think it was sold at the southampton boat show in 1998 and it came direct to northern ireland and it has been in northern ireland ever since so the boat is uk vat paid but also european vat paid because it's been in northern ireland so it has freedom of movement throughout ireland north and south throughout europe throughout the uk um and that's uh, a lot to be said for it as well because if you're looking at boats particularly if you're a southern irish buyer you know thinking about taking a boat to the shannon um you can't bring them in from the uk without paying vat anymore so a boat that's been in ireland from before, well before brexit is totally uh, duty paid vat paid there's no fees or duties to worry about at all so and we have all the paperwork there for it with all the original owners handbooks and manuals and stuff like that and a pristine paper trail so there you go that's the 1998 broom ocean 38 hopefully this video has shown you the condition that the boat is currently in today at the beginning of november 2023 um and it has demonstrated what the boat has to offer they're a fabulous boat it's easily if you're looking for a broom 38 i'm sure you're familiar with the model they have a huge following it's easy to see why they are so popular because they have such a spacious layout inside the aft cabin's fabulous the two toilet uh two toilets and showers are brilliant as well got a great helm station nice outdoor area great walk around side decks they're very easy to board the boat as well whether from the aft or the side decks and you know it's just broom 38 it's an iconic boat this one is a very straight and honest example it's a one owner boat from you it has never been interfered with it's totally original as original as they come 
there's a couple of wee minor things that it needs a wee couple of wee leaks here and there but in the grand scheme of things i think that's fairly minor for a boat of this age it's running per beautifully we did run it on the water if you haven't checked out that sea trail video it is a separate video on the broom 38 page on our website or you'll find it on our youtube channel the boat's running brilliantly as well um i think it's a fabulous example i know there's not too many of them around it is very seriously for sale the owner has um has asked us to prep it for sale and find it a new home so if you are interested in the boat uh, i'd encourage you to give me a call if you've got any questions about it please don't hesitate to call the number at the top of our website or you can send me an email to sales at gulfstreamshop.com or you can fill out the callback request form on this page of our site and i'll be happy to talk to you about arranging a sea trail survey logistics of getting home or if you want to make an offer please don't hesitate to get in touch the boat is available for viewing here at Ockinver in uh, on Loch Ayrn by prior appointment so that's the Broom 38 hopefully you find the video useful it's a beautiful boat I'm sure it's going to make her next owners more than happy and uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video